Hello and welcome to Imperator Rome. My name is Maturius and welcome back to the Rome Let's Play the Tutorial game. We are kinda slowly getting to the end and well we have to finish off the Semonites and I guess I need a claim for that because that, that these guys they it's, they are still oh they are being sieged. Are they at war? Because then they will be finished off automatically, I guess? So, how are we going to see that? I just want... They... Oh, that, that's there. I cannot see... Click to see the province. I kind of want to see you. I'm kind of lost because I was expecting to see their map mode, but I'm now seeing Rome. So, we, oh, here it is. Rome, we have a truce with the Sumerian until the 13th of June, 462. That's going to take some time. And at the moment, they are, they are at war with us, so... We are still... Can we... We have a truce, but we are also at war? That's kind of double, is it not? Lucian's... That's definitely do double. So these are the Freyans. Are the Freyans at war? I guess it's... The Freyans that is at war then. This is kind of complicated and I think... Well, time will tell. For now, we are bringing back our armies. Uh, you guys are moving back there. You are quite good there. And you are quite good there. So, we cannot do anything with this one until 462. So, let's take on the other one. We will get 40 ducats golds kind of, I'm not sure what it is is it ducats gold treasury hmm we're still going pretty in the minus and destroy Eureka who are you Ooh, that's only that part relationship with Saponians some uh, sometimes a diplomatic solution is far more experience than war. Why? Because they're small. Improve your standing with the Siponium. Siponium. They are a number of way to do this. Alright, so we can go, we can send them a gift, we can offer them an alliance. Like in the Crusader King, we... I think we can even do marriages like that thing. So let's check out the diplomatic screen. Uh, because we can do a lot of relation action. We can improve their opinion. We can send an insult that will definitely not work. And we can send send a gift. And I'm not going to do that as well. So improving opinion will cost 50 diplomatic points. And we'll get 6 every month. So it, it's not like in European Universal. It's like sending a diplomat that you have. That you have to choose. But well let's start with this. Because they don't kind of like me. That's because the culture group. But because mostly because. Alright. Opinion improved. That went easy. So I guess we got... No, we still need to get... Reach up to 100. That's going to take some time. Alright. Conquer the southern of... And... Yeah, we, we have to do a lot. That's big country. The southern of Italy. Finish up the Sumerians. That won't be easy for now so we kind of need to find a new target who are you because i kind of want to make this all red and because the tutorial doesn't cover this 
top, I am going to look at this. Exile army is the first one, that's the one is going to be easy to fix because that army is already moving back. So we'll let that go. Then we got the next interesting one and I'm I'm kind of skipping this one because I want to do those the last. Scorn families. A family with will be scorned unless the total income its member received from jobs and office is at least 2% of the national income. We're not making any money so how can they be scorned? There are a lot of scorn families. So I guess there are a lot of families in here. And uh, we have some big ones. Can we can we kind of see the importance? Those are the most prestigious Council of Rome, I guess. Which one am I? Let's let's check that out first. National overview, government, military, technology, religion, economic, diplomacy, decisions, straight character. That's the one I was looking for. Oh no, it's not me. So how am I going to find something about myself? Because I am this guy. So I'm at the moment from the Julio. I have a friend. I have a son. Alright, I'm kind of old ugly guy, I guess. I'm definitely an old ugly guy. So, we are from the Julio. Ju what did you need? No, that's... Alright, well... This one is kind of the Consul of Rome. He is the head of the Pony, yeah, that's. I think that's. I thought we were those guys, and I do think we are. Then we get the cloudy family. There are a lot of small. You guys have a lot of respect. That's because you got whoa one general, a tribunes and a censor. That's a lot. You got a lot of jobs. And this is kind of interesting because this guy only gets monthly loyalty. <coughs> well, they some of them don't have positions. Well, I, I'm not quite sure how this is going to influence me, but I kind of want to show the characters. There are a lot of persons in this game. This is is really make me feel like going to back to Crusader Kings, and it's complicated. It makes a lot of things complicated. All right, national overview. So this is uh, Symponius, the Consul of Rome. That is me. All right. So we got. Rome gets tyranny, alright, that's interesting. This is the hard part, because this is not being explained as well in the tutorial. And that's why the next uh, let's play is going to be a little bit a smaller country with a little bit less decisions. I am going to let the Scorn family go for the moment. Intervention. I got a new intervention. So we kind of need to make the military a little bit less expensive. So this one, terrain discipline, no. Starting experience, no. Don't want that. Military tech invention. And... Uh, Interesting. Oh, they already made those decisions for me. That's interesting because I thought I had to do that as well. Improve opinion, fabricate claim, cost less, diplomacy, tribal reverse, national tribal output plus 10%, but I'm not quite sure if that's money. I think that's the tribal man itself. 
And as we can see, we got tribesmen, tribesmen, there. I still wonder, I need to go to a city to see what they do. Uh, let's pick one. Oh, I just picked a city without a tribesman. That's kind of annoying. Where is Rome? Well, at least it got a tribe. So the tribemans uh, give us a 0 0.01 tax and a manpower modifier. We kind of get new. Yeah, we will get new people eventually. But so that's not going to be an interesting one. Omen power, armor recovery. Technology, there's nothing that makes me make more money. Oh, this one, national incomes. So we are going to do that one, and we can do more. Uh, num, 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 num. Military, I guess we are going to do that one as well, because we need to stay ahead with technology. And we got still got 100 points left. That's that's a good thing, and we soon get more points. So I do know the omen power or technology speed. That's kind of interesting as well. I want to keep a hat with technology. I can choose choose a lot of things. That I'm not quite sure if that's because of the tutorial, but I have a feeling it does. If you guys know why I get to pick, oh, I have a lot of civic powers. Now I see. Uh, diplomatic reputation, fabricated claim, anything interesting, improve opinion. That is kind of handy because we still need to get that thing done. I should have taken these two way earlier. So. As you can see, the tutorial does guide you through the game, but doesn't really tell you what to do first. And armor recovery, I kind of want that one as well. So, where? I went back to this screen, but I was kind of expecting to see religion, economic. Diplomacy, decision trade, character, mercenaries, national overview. I kind of was looking for something where the technology is in the national overview. I was expecting it to be part of the Pacific. I don't see it in here, so I really need. Alright, well. Now, let's take a look at the military tradition, because we haven't looked at that as well. This is kind of your tradition. We already maxed out, I think we maxed out 800 points. Yeah, we are over the base cost. So, we have a lot of heavy infantry, and... Rome does really need to go kind of like this way, March of the Eagle. Is also kind of their thing. Next one will be available at 1200. Interventions. I still got them left, but well, I kind of want to do the trade. This is kind of the harder port trade. This this is something I really need to go into. But we got a lot of stuff. And I kind of need more money. Is there a map mode that shows me which province makes me province map mode? This is this is the one the interesting one. So this is Latin. This goes for lo local autonomy. This is local unrest. This one is going for the money, and I kind of need to conquer more in this section. I really need to dive more into this game. 
find out what every button is going to do and starting with rum does sound like an easy thing but I kind of feel it's hard it's definitely hard so this is what will look like from that mode so the tutorial does give you kind of a way to go but it doesn't really help you with the little detail that those are the important things in the game enact a uh, platonic republic well these are all kind of things i'm going to look into later i kind of want to attack somebody again so uh, let's see this is room and you uh, Picardy is an alliance with um, Umbria. Umbria is over there. 5k. And grants military access to the Seminan. So you're kind of traitors, don't you? Yes, you're traitors. So I kind of want to have the Picardy. First thing first, we are going to bring our armies up north. There's only yeah, there's a big army in there. So this is an impenetrable. You guys are going to there. You guys, thankful Plubius Sempronius Sopus seems to be in remiss from a previous ailment right doctors are overrated anyway yes that's surely so I definitely know that all right you guys will go over there the biggest army and I kind of hope you rebuild a little bit because we're getting ready for war and A new ruler, Quintus Fabius. All right, so we got a new ruler with more army. And this will cost you these merchants. Disbanding this unit will cost 150, but it is costing me. They are costing me like crazy. So I definitely want to oh shoot now I hired these mercenaries that wasn't what I oh well I guess we are going to go to war then yeah pretty I want to a covert action I want to fabricate a claim uh, to this small province and this is now going to cost me a lot of money and I'm not sure if that was a small or a wise thing to do we have long seen worn to be suspicious suspicious of gifts especially in the current political climate all right however the interesting proposal has been made by Publius Cornelius Barbantus, all right, of neither of the religious faction. We should be wary. How generous. Yeah. Titles on the side. So we need a new censor. I am not sure. I guess the political power is the most important thing. And I kind of want to have a less court family so let's see if any names the dice is curry curry that one he is 30 years old his ambitions head of his family popularity changed by 0 0.1 he is not that loyal it's the other one because this one is more loyal to me 
Yeah, I do want to pick one of those three. But I also want to pick a family. So we can kind of pick up this one and this one. So let him do it. That's one less court family, I expect. The epic has finally been completed with Rome playing an important role until not only... Alright, I thought it was the end of the tutorial, but it's not, luckily. Did not prove the popular outsider of our borders, but I became highly unpopular at home as well. Alright. Now get this army to here as well. Alright, let's kinda declare war. Enemies of the enemy is Umbria take. Alright. So I don't mind being a tyranny. You are going that way. You are going into political map mode. This, yeah. And I guess my little blue guys will take over. He doesn't even have an army. That what I see correctly? Yeah, he doesn't have an army. Oh well. I wonder if I can just take everything. So let's see, we needed to improve diplomatic relationship with the Symponians as well. Let's see, open. Uh, send a gift, alright. I still don't think this is going to get us to 100%. Because I'm kind of an aggressive guy. Right, you go up there. And why aren't you? The seat has one go to location, alright. Come on, don't go that fast. In spite of the right granted to Plesbe, man, what a name, Pleblenian, since the last ses session in 411, tension between the partners on all right, so we are going to get kind of like a civil war. Uh, however, a new political class made up of both Persis and Plebeians have been growing in corporate the middle income family of the republic all right so we are kind of going for national happiness freeman i don't want to yeah well this will do and you guys move there as well I kind of want to send this army to attack. Just... It's going to be the easiest way to lose that damn expensive mercenary army I have now have. <laughs> it's, it's a way too expensive army. So these guys are kind of armies to hire and it wasn't a smart idea to do that. Where is... oh yeah, there it is. So you guys go over there. It's going to take some time before they get there. So playing at Rome in the tutorial is kinda... conquering game. Let them follow.
At least I didn't lose that much manpower. Yeah, I do lose manpower, but a very natural, un autonomous city states often lead to disagreement between neighbors. So something would benefit more of this. Well, I have no idea, but I do think local tax would be beneficial. Right, where's the last army? And we still won. Yeah, this is it. So I first want to talk to you guys. Uh, super peace. You cannot force an ally abandon someone in a war until 36 months. Oh, that's kind of pity. Well, then I guess we're going to sue for peace and take everything. It's going to cost us some war score. Why can't we do this? And that one. Thank you. All right. Uh, deserve no quarrel. No, we are going to just kill them all. All right, look at Rome, man. Call down an omen. Oh, we get a new objective. That's kind of interesting. Religion set because that's I think where the omen is. Yes, there is. All right. So I kind of want to have more, more text just because I. I need this. Alright. And so we got one more army. Go to that border. Go to that border. And these are, I think, two armies. Yes. Alright, so we are going to cross even more into Italy. Look at Rome. We are expanding. But I do think we have to look into that in the next thing. And I am definitely going to do look into trade a little bit because bad research ratio. Alright, I also have to look into that as well. So for the next episode I am going to look into that room. I got it. Pretty nice score, I think, but I'm not quite sure yet if that's a good score. Uh, but we are going to have to look into that in the next episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Leave your tips, tricks, and things I need to know in the comment down below. Because, well, I'm far from an expert of this game. We got a lot of merchants. But we... Current location, yeah, this one. This is an expensive one. Oh, man. Thank you for watching, and see you at the next Imperator Rome. Let's play the tutorial next. No, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow.